You didn't have to be a celebrity to be treated like a celebrity with Jimmy Swingless. He always treated everybody the same, you know, always treated you with grace and uh, respect. Jim Swingo treated everybody, whether he met you that day or knew you for 10 years, like you were family. And I mean, you hear that a lot, but there's no question about that. If you went there for a special occasion, right away, you'd say, what are you here for? You know, great, great to see you. He's calling over, bring champagne. You know, and you're looking, that never ended up on the, on the bill. When he went to Swingo's, it was a dining experience, and it started with Jim. Jim was the one you started with. Uh, he, he made your dining experience from the time you walked in to the time you left. He was the man at the front door and the man at the back door. He did everything. Jim he was my idol. Like, I adored him, man. He was such a great businessman. He was good to people, good to the health. I really believe he started this town on its road to good restaurants, and we have a lot of them now. But in those days, it was the Kagan Quarter. When you spoke to these guys, they you just saw that there was this very sincere interest in everything you were saying, and that they were very concerned about you. They'd ask you questions, they'd introduce you to people who came through the door. It was always wonderful. He was downtown people. You know, any time that uh, I met him, uh, I always felt at ease, and he was sort of the ringmaster of the whole affair. Jimmy was always, we always had a lot of laughs. We were always, he was, he was, we were both ball busters, and we just had a lot of laughs together. And he was a gentleman, he's a nice guy. Uh, to this day, we hug if we see each other because he was part of my early life in this town and a lot of other people too. He taught me to eat good food in a restaurant more than anybody else. And at that time, we arranged to meet Sinatra backstage just for an informal, hello, how you doing? And he remembered. He remembered the Kegging Porter, he remembered me. He had some very nice things to say about Jimmy and the Kegging Porter. And Jimmy never forgot where he came from or the people that were there for him. I enjoyed working with him and for him and being his friend all those years. I remember we came in and uh, Jim Swingo was there and he met us and I guess he, Leo had told us uh, him about us and all. And he took us on a, a, a tour of Swingo's in the floor that Led Zeppelin had destroyed. And he said, yeah, and he was describing all the damage and it was great. I went, yeah, we're in a rock and roll hotel and we had a great time. 